Hello and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to show you dynamic Google mapping. Now uh, you can go to uh, maps.google.com and you can make some really really wonderful maps and these maps uh, you can put them on your website and you know they're they're great they're fine and well for a lot of things uh, but there are some times when you just really would like to have a map based on uh, an activity or something that's taking place in uh, in a database that you have. So I'm going to show you a quick example where you might want something like that. Uh, something that I've uh, that I'm using in in my own personal life and uh, you know I can probably get out of a lot of those screens there. Okay here it is. The uh, what I'm making here is I've got a uh, I've got a ad management program I run some ads in Craigslist and another one called Backpage, and uh, it can get pretty confusing as to what ads I've run. Uh, for example, let's we'll use Backpage here. For example, uh, I have an ad generator. It automatically generates my ads. It pulls out a bunch of random uh, stuff out of a database. It's it's pretty neat, and uh, I can create that page. For example, here and then that tells me that I've got this brand new ad it's generated the ad I can put the ad into uh, uh, back page you know wherever I want to put the ad I'm not going to get into that because that's not the scope of this particular thing but now I can go in here and I can see all my back page ads running and I can you know I can get a list of, of the ads that I'm running. I see Bur Birmingham, Dothan, Alabama, certain places in California. I've got quite a bit of California here. I've got Colorado, Connecticut, Florida. But you know, this doesn't really give me a visual reference. And what is really, really nice to have is a visual reference. So what if I wanted a visual reference of, let's say, what did I do in the last day on Backpage? Anything? Nothing. There's nothing there because it's showing uh, it's going to a zero uh, latitude and longitude. So if I go back seven days, I can see that over the past seven days, I've been really busy. Uh, the reason I've been really busy, and this shows a lot in seven days, is this ad management system I've got is really awesome and it allows you just to go nuts. But anyway, uh, back to the point. My point is, now I've got a visual reference of where my ads are running over the last seven days. So what's really neat about this visual reference is I can see I've got two ads running in in Hawaii but I don't have uh, you know there's four islands in Hawaii I know this for a fact and I've got nothing in Honolulu. This tells me right off the bat without having to look in there and try and remember if I've got anything in Honolulu I'm looking right at it and I can see hey I've got this here I've got this here I don't have anything here I don't have anything here it's telling me so there's some a lot of really good information to be gained by using dynamic data on Google Maps that runs out of your uh, runs directly out of your database now we can go back two days and you can see that I've got a much smaller uh, amount of ads running over that two day period so what I've got, uh, another, another neat little thing I've got in here is I've got uh, just all ads over all time and this just shows me everything. All that's fine and well but these have blue dots and you can't do anything other than figure out you know oh okay those are blue dots. Uh, don't know exactly where I've got it right now but I, I do have uh, a more uh, comprehensive dot system for that but anyway we're gonna get out of that ad management program right now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you in uh, just a standalone program that I've built uh, what's possible with Google Maps on uh, on you know running from your database so what I've done is I've made like a mini mini contact uh, uh, you know kind of a life story type thing where I put uh, various like houses I bought and things of that nature so what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this example right here uh, completely and I'm going to go to this is the page that I have made 
that's a dynamic driven page of content and how to put in the content for each of the uh, maps. And I'll go to a, uh, uh, let's see, this is the White House. What I'm doing is I've, I've gone to the form here that allows me to update the White House. As long as I have a latitude and a longitude in here, I can change everything else and the dot will stay right there. How this la latitude and longitude works is it goes to Google API. If there is a zero in the latitude, I mean if the latitude equals zero, not if there's a zero contained in the latitude, but if the latitude equals zero, then this will query the uh, API for uh, the geo data. Let me hit update and I'll show you this. It'll query for the geo data and once it has queried the geo data, uh, okay, maybe I have to come back through this side. Once it's queried the geo data, what happens is it puts in my latitude and longitude. And this is what Google Maps uses in order to display this on the map. So we'll go back to the admin page. And I've also added a couple of things in here. I've got 10 different colors of uh, possible flags. You've got uh, your pin colors. And I could have put these as categories, restaurant, bar, hotel, shopping, whatever. But I just put them in as green, blue, red, yellow, purple. And then that way, if I want to cate categorize something, I can. Now I've got uh, Dutch Harbor in here, which is where the deadliest catch is, is uh, filmed at. So if I decide view on map and I want to look at Dutch Harbor, this will take me at a zoom level that I've pre-specified for all of my uh, content and uh, it zooms right into this Dutch Harbor. And uh, if I want to take a closer look, I can go either satellite or hybrid and I can just zoom right in. And uh, yeah, creepy I know, kind of in a way, but in a way pretty cool too. So. Uh, you know, anytime you put an address on, on your database, you can then have it go ahead and uh, pull all of this information directly out. So what I'm going to do, and I don't know what window I just shut there, but it wasn't that one. I'm going to go here, and uh, on full map, uh, this is where I don't pull a particular anything out. But what's really neat here is I can take and click on a thing like that right there. I click on one of those map pins. Once you've clicked on a map pin, it'll go ahead and drop right into that. But uh, without specifying, it'll do the full map. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to specify now. Uh, and as I specify, I've got it set to a zoom level that will cover most of this particular town. Now clicking on the uh, pin will populate it with data from my database. And now this data says my house. And 380 Borello Lane, Cocoa Beach, this is a house that I bought back in 2005. I don't own this house anymore, so if you want to stalk me on it, then, you know, do whatever. Uh, and I've linked this. And in my uh, links, I've got the ability to specify what that links to. And uh, let me go back because that wasn't where I thought it was going to link to. And that wasn't where I thought it was going to link to. So I, I ended up messing up the links. But anyway, uh, you can link to directly to whatever you want to link to. You can put a link to anything. Now in the Dutch Harbor, that's a better example, I've got a link to Wikipedia, uh, an article about Dutch Harbor in there. So where I'm getting at here is you can link to everything. You can uh, change it to satellite view. And what I like about Google's uh, geocoding is they actually, when I put this in there, this was the very first record that I ever put in, and they actually put the pin right on the top of the house. Why the pin isn't on the top of the house now, I have no clue where the pin went. Ah, there it is. Okay. So uh, the pin was right on the very roof. Wow. Now at that zoom level it isn't, but you can see it's right on the center of the roof. And then when I zoom in a little further it tends to disappear. 
I don't know. Maybe that's something Google just did in the last half hour because the pin used to be there when I zoom right down in. But anyway, this is very neat. And what's really, really super cool about this, and I'm going to give you a tutorial that's going to show you the whole uh, method that I went through to make this. You do have to know a little bit of PHP, MySQL, in order to, to operate this. But to, to put a new record in, I'm just going to put one in real quick here. Uh, there's, I ask for a lot of information because there's a lot of information that I want displayed. And I'm going to put this in as 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And I've got to pre-populate on that. And that's Washington, D.C. So pre-populate that. The zip code is absolutely meaningless. It doesn't matter at all. And uh, so we're going to make a red button on that one. Now, I've all already got this in here under one. So I'm just going to put White House. And I'm going to show this on the map. I've got an option where it can be shown or taken off. And we create that. And uh, the neat thing about this is if you, well, the other thing that I wanna, wanted to say as well, uh, I have a way to delete. And of course, you can delete. And I'm deleting the older version of that that I have. So uh, if you don't know how to, uh, to put this together, you know, I can do that as well. Uh, that's not an issue. Uh, let's see, I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, where is the White House? Uh, okay. I know I put it in. And I deleted one. Okay. That wasn't the one I deleted there. Okay, update. That's right, I put it in as me, and I was thinking White House. Okay, view on map. So when we view on the map, you can see that it will zero right in on the White House. Anyway, uh, if just watch the series and I will show you how to put this whole system here together. Uh, if you don't know the PHP and the MySQL and you want a system like this on your website, it's very awesome to have. There's, uh, there's a lot of good uses for it, utilities. Uh, just feel free to contact me. I'll give you a quote and I can put, put something like this together for you. Thank you. Have a great day.